Today's tutorial is about how to add glow or shine to your images in Photoshop. I've, I've been getting so many questions about this and I, I thought that I should do a tutorial about how to add glow or shine to my portraits in Photoshop. So those who have been asking me that very question, this tutorial is for you guys. And for those who would like to learn about how I did skin retouching for this image, as you can see, it has already been retouched. So I'm going to put the link right above here so that you guys can check it out. And learn about the amazing frequency separation technique and in the, that tutorial you'll be watching you'll be learning about frequency separation skin retouching from the start to the very end and you learn uh, how to create your frequency separation layers and how to do your global dodging and burning and uh, and how to do your eye and teeth whitening in photoshop so let's kick in enough of the talking i'm ronix from one photograph and welcome to my channel and if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button so that we can continue growing and learning together. So we're going to add shine to this image. And as you can see, this was the image initially before. And this is the after before. After you can see, it really has some glow in it. And we're going to be using uh, the curves adjustment layers and the blend if option in Photoshop. So le let me go and just delete this. So that we can learn everything together so just come here to your and create a new curves adjustment layer right here so you click right here and come to curves so what we're going to do right now we are going to get a midpoint make sure you click right in the middle and move this slightly upwards but uh, make sure you don't overexpose your image make sure it is a reasonable adjustment so just close this so remember we want to uh, sorry remember we want to add shine or glow to this image so just come right here and just double click so when you double click you get uh this uh, little dialog box this is how it looks like so come right here to the blend if and now drag this triangle i don't know what they call it so make sure you just uh, drag it yeah just drag it until you see the highlights are really more emphasized in your image so i think at around there we have the highlights really emphasized you can see them clearly so what you're going to do you're going now to uh fine tune or refine this selection so make sure you hold down the alternate button on your keyboard so alternate is alt and now hold it down and now separate these two triangles so we're going to move this towards uh, the left and we are going to move this uh towards uh, the right so that we uh, really get uh, the best uh, selection I think this is really really fine and okay so after you have done that I uh, click OK so remember now it has affected the overall image and we only want to emphasize the highlights for this very image so in order to hide that effect make sure you select uh, this uh, layer and now we're going for the hiding of the effect make sure this layer right here is selected and what we're going to do we are going to invert or hide that effect from the overall image so make sure it is selected and click ctrl or command i on the keyboard to hide that effect so in order to reveal uh, the highlights for this image remember the shine is usually emphasized in the highlights of an image i uh, get your brush tool and make sure it is a soft round brush yeah the hardness is to zero and make sure the opacity is at 100 and the flow is at 100 because you can easily reduce the effect after you have applied it on the opacity option in your photoshop so make sure you get a brush hardness are uh, all this it is a soft brush opacity 100 and the flow 100 so make sure white is on the foreground yeah or you can just toggle to get white on top or you can get back the default by just clicking right on these two squares 
so make sure white is on top remember we are going to reveal and remember white the white color reveals and uh, the black color hides so basically that's what we're going to be doing you're going to be using the white brush to reveal the shine or the effect on our portrait so let's increase on the brush because we want to paint on a bigger area so just paint over the area you feel really needs to have that shine and i don't know i i know you can remember when we're applying the blend if every single area that i uh, really wanted uh, some emphasis uh, regarding the highlights so we have this highlight right here so we're just going to paint over that and now come to the chin area and emphasize that so let's see the before and after so far so this is the before after before after so you can just come and also emphasize this arm area you can see that so you can continue adding shine to various areas of the image if you really want to go on but i think this is really really fine and uh, this very method is it can be compared to global dodging and burning but uh, this very me method really brings it in a more natural way and you can see the before and after and if at all you feel like the effect is too much for your liking like I said, just come to the opacity and uh, drop down or reduce on the effect. So you can see the before and the after, before, after. So basically, this is how to add shine or glow to your images in Photoshop. And we have been using the blend if op option in Photoshop and the curves adjustment layers. We use the brush to paint over or reveal the effect that was hidden on the curves adjustment layers. And if at all you love this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment in the comment section. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another ret retouching tutorial or any other tutorial or behind the scenes on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe and stay safe.